Every time I hear about the young men in America who are living in their mommy's basement playing the games for two days straight and they're not looking for the, the girls, I mean, this alarms me. So I'm going to put an idea out there. Here's my idea. I think young men in America should move to Japan and Korea and have some babies. Yeah, it's so important, and I'm going to say it again. If you're a young man out there, and it's some sort of miracle, and you see this video, I think you should move to Japan or South Korea and have some babies. Now, where, where did I get this idea? I mean, look at America. America, they got, they're having over almost 4 million babies a year in America. And we know that that's not us white guys. Us white guys are not having four million babies a year in America. We know who's having babies in America, and it ain't us white guys, okay? So if you're a liberal left commie, go ahead and leave a negative comment. It won't bother me. Now look down there at Mexico. Mexico's almost, they're having 1.8 million babies a year. In Mexico, it's a smaller country than us. They're almost having 2 million babies a year. They're not having any problem down in Mexico, okay? Don't go, if you're a young white guy in America, don't go to Mexico because the Mexican boys are having no problems bending the senoritas over the kitchen table and yell, yelling, yee-haw, yeah, yee-haw. Yeah, the Mexicans, they're not having any problems down there having babies. But here's where they're having problems having babies. They're having problems having babies in Japan and South Korea. What's there? South Korea, they're only having 260,000 babies. And you've heard all the stories, and I've heard the stories too. Something's going on over in Japan and South Korea, and the boys and the girls are just not getting together. Maybe it's because I think a lot of times the, the Asian girls don't really feel the excitement having sex with an Asian boy because it's like they think they're having sex with their brother or something. You know, don't go there. But I'm telling you, uh, there's reasons why they're, have, there's a, they're not having babies in South Korea. But you put a white man, you put a white American boy over there in Japan and Korea, and I'm telling you, he's going to go crazy. And those girls are going to jump on him. They're, the birth rate's going to go up. I think I got something here, okay? I, I, know the, I know the YouTube executives don't like me and everything, but hell, I think I got something here. So Japan is down to 758,000 babies born in 2023. That's the lowest number ever in Japan. Again, 758,000. Now, 50 years ago, they had 2.1 million babies born 50 years ago. But I want to compare Japan to other countries because I know over here in... Um, Europe, they're having low birth rates in Europe. Look at these are low. These are all under Japan. Italy, 400. Germany is a little bit above Japan. So Japan at 758. Germany at 761. So out of all the European countries, okay, UK is doing pretty good too. Well, no, but UK is under. So the only, the major country in the Europe is Germany with 761 that beats Japan. Australia was 300, I believe. Over here in um, Colombia, just a little below Japan, seven. So <clears throat> this is a problem all over the, the world, except for in America. Canada's low at 376. Americans, America is basically a third world shithole. So you're going to have lots of babies in a third world country the size of America. Uh, now, there are some countries over here beating Japan in this uh, Asia, South Asia, Myanmar, Thailand. Thailand's a little under. Myanmar's over. Thailand's a little under Japan, but uh, Vietnam is 1.4, and I think... Um, the Philippines is doing, the Philippines is, uh, where's the Philippines? The Philippines is 2.4 million. So, anyhow, we won't go into this too much. Russia is 1.3. 
and uh, South Africa has a lot of babies, over a million. Brazil, definitely going to have a lot of babies in Brazil. There are a lot of hot mamas in Brazil, Two, almost 3 million in Brazil. Argentina, you are, see, this is the thing. Argentina, European country. Most of the people in Argentina are going to be like from Italy, Spain, Germany. So basically, if you don't know, Argentina is a European country. Uh, that's what their population is. Look at the birth. The birth rate is below Japan. Over in Brazil, where there's a lot of hot mamas, 3 million. So this is what the world's coming to. So I quickly want to talk about the phrase out of the frying pan and into the fire. Jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. Because a couple just recently left California and moved to Mexico. I sort of question the reasoning on this. Here it is. A husband of American killed by Mexican cartel says they fled Los Angeles over crime. Now this doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> and the headline underneath there, Jared Kushner, he doesn't make sense to me either. And the headline above that, Alec Baldwin, that doesn't make sense. To, and nothing really makes sense to me. But let's go into this. It does not make sense to leave California because you, you fear crime in California. Now crime has gone up everywhere in America. But there's 15 million Latinos in California now. And um, 15 million in California. And here is the graph of the Mexican population in America. It has gone dramatically up. So I can imagine, I know why people are scared of crime. Look at the graph. You've got a lot of illegals coming into the country. And going back to 1950, 1960, 1970, look at the chart, how low it was. America was a safer place in 1930, 1940, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, <clears throat> my whole point is it doesn't make sense to leave Texas or California or Arizona or Nevada and say, okay, I'm going to go to Mexico because I'm, it'll be safer down there. That does not make sense to me. And I just want to put the memo out just in case you didn't get the memo.